All right, we're here with Mike Gustafson. He's head of the College Baseball Foundation, which is in charge of the College Baseball Hall of Fame. Mike, tell us a little bit about the progress and what y'all have done so far getting this off the ground. The city of Lubbock has donated five acres of land. It's a piece of land uh, that's a rectangular piece of land just, just immediately north of the Civic Center, kind of a gateway project to the downtown revitalization that's taking place there in Lubbock. Uh, really excited about the, the land. It's something that uh, a lot of people have wanted and we've got five years to break ground on that piece of land. I don't think it'll take that long. Really probably more realistic to think that we'll break ground in the next couple years. But right now very much in a fundraising mode and we're looking, uh, you know, we've been working very closely with Major League Baseball and with a lot of different entities. Uh, we've gotten a lot of cooperation from Major League Baseball owners. Uh, and then working with foundations and private donors and whatnot, there's been a couple million dollars in cash already committed to the project. Um, and we're also working on uh, different ways to, to maintain operational funds in addition to just building it. You know, we, it's really looking at uh, about a $13 million project in terms of the cost of the, uh, the cost of it. We want to put a youth field next to it so that we can host tournaments, kind of generate our own visitors. Uh, the field and the, the, the the Hall of Fame itself, we think will be about nine million, another four million to endow it, basically, so that you can operate it and that it, that it's viable once it opens. Uh, the you know the, the progress. Skip Burtman at LSU, one of our inductees, and obviously the Hall of Fame, you know, Hall of Famer. All, everybody knows who he is in college baseball. Been very helpful with us in this process uh, um, throughout. Really going from being one of the first inductees in to, to helping us with the fundraising and. Uh, helping us with introductions to the schools and, and our involvement with Major League Baseball. He's just been really tremendous and uh, he will be involved in some of the important meetings that we've got coming up in, ter in, in terms of some of the big asks that we've got for, for, for large donations. All right, and what so far, what kind of things have y'all collected for the actual exhibits? And tell us a little bit about the awards that y'all present. Sure. We, we've, uh, we're planning a 32,000 square foot facility. I think without having the drawings in front of me, I think we're looking at about an 8,000, 8 to 9,000 foot gallery, and you know, which will be the actual part you'd tour with the rest being storage and office space and a rentable type banquet space and stuff. Uh, the, uh, in terms of the artifacts that, we're, that we've already collected, we started this process very actively in about 07 in terms of getting things from the guys like Buster Posey and Steven Strasburg. And it's, it's sort of the standard items that you'd expect from those guys, a bat here, a glove there, a hat, uh, you know, Steven Strasburg spikes, th those sort of things. We've got a bunch of those things from the players as they've come through Lubbock on their way out. In addition, we've worked with some of the um, inductees for artifacts. We've got Brooke, one of Brooks Kiesnick's hat, and that's a little bit tougher because you're going back and asking a guy for something from 20, 30 years ago. But Brooks Kiesnick had one of his Longhorn hats. Uh, Bob Horner's parents, his mother had kept a scrapbook for him, and that's been donated, uh, which is really neat because it's these newspaper clippings uh, from the, you know from the mid to late 70s when he was a, a Sun Devil uh, and won the first Golden Spikes Award. So uh, those are the kind of things that we're we're talking about, and we we've, we've got to do a lot more, obviously, and and uh, you know, and that's a big process. That once that thing really, once that thing begins racing in terms of the collection of artifacts, you got to get a curator, you got to get real people to do it because. William, if you and I did it, we'd have it in a box <laughs> over in the corner, and it, it's got to be it's got to be cared for better than that. So we're not far away from really uh, needing to to uh, energize the process of getting things in and cataloging them and doing it doing it properly. The the Southwest Collection is a library on the campus of Texas Tech University, and they have all of the archival staff, and they've really taken an active role in basically archiving the stuff that we've gotten in and holding it until we're at a point that we've got our own curatorial staff that they can they can hand it off to which has really been key otherwise it truly would be in a box over in the corner and it, it it's got to be handled better than that all right so y'all are looking in the next five years to start ground and as soon as fans start visiting Lubbock that'll be another attraction oh I, there's no question you know we, we the, the, the facility that we're designing will host a ton of youth tournaments and, and it'll be the, the baseball field itself will only seat like 800. It's not intended to be a stadium, it's more of a field, seat about 800, but will enable us to host a ton of our youth tournaments. And it, it'll be big enough for a 60-90 type, you know, regulation size field like what we'd have, what we play college baseball on, uh, but really intended to host more high school and younger. Uh, summer tournaments and stuff and really generate visitors that way. That's one, one angle to generate visitors. You've, got, you've constantly got a stream of four and five day 
baseball tournaments starting up on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and running through the weekend. And those guys play the championship, and they leave. And the next week, the next the next group starts up. And uh, that that's a, that's a big key. I mean, that's a big approach to the strategy of bringing people to the Hall of Fame. And uh, and then obviously, in, you know, when Texas Tech plays a home game or something, we we expect that that even on the football side, just people who like college sports are going to be curious about this and will come tour it. And it's you know, it's 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 what makes it viable. All right. Well, thanks a lot. This has been Mike Gustafson, head of the College Baseball Hall of Fame, in charge of the College Baseball, or, sorry, head of the College Baseball Foundation, in charge of the College Baseball Hall of Fame. Thank you, William. Thanks for what you guys do covering the game. You all do a tremendous job. Thank you.